Hey everybody, it's Barb again, and I'm going to record another episode with um, oils and hair. And today we're going to be looking at a recipe for dry shampoo. So I'm recording this on day three of my hair, and I don't like to wash my hair every day. With it being silver, it tends to be a little bit more fragile. And I think for most people, if they can go longer, between shampoos, it's probably better for your hair. So today I'm going to demonstrate how I use our dry shampoo and then I will conclude by showing you the recipe for the dry shampoo. My daughter is actually the one who made these for us and what I like is she made this one, I think you can see that it's white. This is the one I use and most of your dry shampoos that you purchase are white and they don't cause a problem if your hair is as light as mine is. But what if your hair is a nice, rich chocolate brown like hers? Well, there is a recipe that you can also make that this one has cocoa in it, and it makes your dry shampoo have a brown cast to it. So you can see that the cocoa one is very different from the plain one, and the recipe will show you how to make both of those. So when I went to use this, and Typically, it's, my hair is getting flat or like sometimes you're like through here, you're getting the oily look and you don't want to have that. And I use this, I had this old powder brush that I've had and you could use a makeup brush or whatever. And what I like is I just open up the jar. Sorry, it's up all around the uh, top of the jar since I was shaking it up. Okay. And I'll be honest, usually I don't do this when I'm dressed because you don't really want to get the powder onto your black shirt like what I'm wearing. But I just stick it down in there and then I shake off I shake off the excess. So now my brush has about that much powder on it. I think you can see it. And so then I'm just going to apply it wherever I feel that my hair is showing oil or if it's looking a little bit flat. And I'm just getting some more on the brush, about that much, if you can see that. And I just go all the way around. And then I also find that my hair gets flat in the back. So I'm getting a little bit more on. And I'll just kind of lift up wherever I feel like I need some freshening. Now the nice thing too is with the oils, this has a lovely, a lovely fresh smell, which I like. So then after I feel like I have it wherever I think I need it, I'm going to just brush it. And get the lid on this so I don't make a mess. Okay, there we go. And then I'll just take and brush it through my hair. My hair looks kind of funny. I had it in braids a couple days ago and it made my hair real wavy. But I'm not going anywhere today, so I'm okay with that. But then as I brush it through... I find that my hair starts to really um, perk up. And then where I was feeling like it looked kind of greasy on the sides or oily, however you want to call it, um, I find that it's very nice and it has a very fresh, fresh smell to it. And I really enjoy it. And it's a very quick pick me up for my hair if I don't want to wash it every day. So I'm going to put the recipe on now for you. Let me pull that up. So here's the recipe that I use for the dry shampoo. You'll see the ingredients for the light hair on the left, one quarter cup of arrowroot powder. And most, if you can find a health food type store, they'll, they will usually have that. And I'm sure you can order it online. Two drops of the doTERRA lavender essential oil, two drops of the doTERRA rosemary. Rosemary is so wonderful for your hair health. And then also two drops of peppermint. And then notice on the dark hair, it's the exact same recipe, but we are also adding two tablespoons of the cocoa powder. And cocoa powder also gives it a really nice smell um, when you're looking at the cocoa one. It has a beautiful fragrance with it. And it has you put all of the, the ingredients there the arrowroot powder, cocoa powder if you're using it, and your essential oils into a food processor or like a magic bullet or something like that that you have and just pulse it until it's well combined and then just store it in any glass jar you have around and use some kind of a brush to put it on. And um, the doTERRA blog down there is where this recipe came from and uh, you can go to doTERRA.com 
slash us slash en slash blog <laughs> slash DIY dash dry dash shampoo. And it's just a really nice quick pick me up for your hair. So I hope this was helpful to you and we'll catch you the next time. Bye bye.